people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on another video in today's video we are doing part five of the thicker thigh series we are going to be burning the legs the glutes building some muscle and improving our health by exercising if that sounds good to you then simply keep watching but also do it along with me because you won't get the benefits by watching but even if you just watch you know I still I still appreciate you I still appreciate that view <laughs> so yeah give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more like it make sure that you click subscribe and definitely join me on Instagram because I share loads of recipes and just a lot of my life on there as well check out my blog and Facebook page and send this video to a friend challenge them to see if they can make it through this 10 minute leg burner you do not need any equipment for this workout all you need is a bit of space and I will talk you through each exercise give you the correct form and techniques and I'll look after the timings as well so yeah if that sounds good to you we should get to it let's go <laughs> all right so we're gonna start off the workout with some glute bridges as you can see and um, getting down onto your hands and feet ready and go so you want to keep your feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart supporting the upper body with your hands um, and we are going to essentially thrust the hips up into the air but the way we're going to focus this exercise is that we're going to keep the range of movement quite minimal because what you want to be doing is focusing those glutes really squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings to get that full extension at the hips so that's pushing the hips up and forward to make a bridge and essentially like making your body into the shape of a bridge so be intentional with it squeeze the glutes as tight as you can really bringing the hips up towards the ceiling as high as you can weight through the heels and rest for 15 seconds and prepare for the next exercise which are some bridge kicks pretty similar but we're working more from a static point of view and keeping that control and balance ready and go so again weight through the heels engage your core squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings now what i want you to make sure of when you're doing this exercise is that your hips aren't falling down towards the ground so you're really keeping that contraction keeping the um, pelvic tilt nice and tight um, as you kick out the lower legs now the only place that i want your body to kind of move when you're doing this is at the knee joint so you want to think of your body as being in a straight line from the shoulder to the hip through to the knee and then you're kicking out the calves and bringing it back down with control squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings and relax well done a few seconds rest and we are going on to the lateral bounds bounding from side to side don't be scared i will talk you through it and um, ready and go so to start with, I'm just going to show you the basis of this movement. So we're bounding from one leg to the other. Pretty simple, right? But what the aim of this exercise um, is, is to kind of be explosive with it. So we want as much power as we can. Now I'm doing them a little bit more explosively. So you can see I lost my balance a little bit there. But the way you want to focus on this is landing with the weight through the heels, sitting back before the jump, exploding nice and high onto the other leg. Uh, this will really increase hypertrophy by using those fast twitch fibers, cushioning the fall, making sure that your weight is going through the heels, that you can wiggle the toes. I don't want you injuring your knees or anything like that. And relax. Then we're going on to the next exercise, <laughs> uh, which are some single leg squat pulses assisted. Ready? Getting into a mini lunge position and go. So with this exercise, we are aiming to feel the burn in the leg in front. So I want you to imagine that the leg behind you is really only there for support, only there to help you keep your balance, as though you're doing a low single leg squat in the front leg. Weight through the heel of the front leg, able to wiggle your toes, core nice and tight, contracting um, in the glutes and the and the hamstrings but you'll feel this a lot in your quads and every now and then you can just bring that back leg off the floor a little bit just to just to reassure yourself and remind yourself that the weight is through that front leg as though this is a single leg squat and relax and then we're going to come down and do the same thing on the other leg again thinking of this as though we're doing like a single leg pulsing squat in the leg in front ready and go make sure that you're not 
over lunging. So you shouldn't be feeling like a massive stretch in the quad of the leg that is behind you, okay? So you're imagining that you have kind of that, that form as you can see that I'm doing this. So the straight leg from my shoulder through to my hip to my knee behind me, and I'm sitting back onto the, almost on, as though I'm sitting back onto a chair, if you, if you get what I mean, keeping that weight through the heel of the foot in front, Every now and then I'm just lifting that back leg off the ground to remind myself which leg I want to be carrying the weight of my body, pulsing up and down. You can feel the burn, you can feel your quads, feel your glutes and hamstrings. Doing really well and relax for a few seconds. In fact, a few more seconds because I actually messed up the timer. <laughs> so have an extra two seconds rest. <laughs> and then we're gonna go back in with the first exercise, the glute bridges. Can you feel any burn yet? I hope you can feel a little bit of, little bit of burn as we run into position, ready and go. Coming up to form a nice glute bridge position. So you wanna aim to get those hips up as high as you can, squeezing mind to muscle connection. Be intentional about this. Squeeze your hamstrings, squeeze your glutes, weight through the heels, um, supporting the upper body with the arms, really pushing those hips through. That is what the glutes are there for, for a big, well, for quite a bit more than that, but a big hip extension, doing really well, keep going. You got this, guys. I love working out with you guys, by the way. <laughs> Thanks so much for doing this with me. Um, and <laughs> relax for a few seconds. And we are going to go back in with the bridge kicks. Catch your breath. Stretch if you need to. But don't take too long because we are starting again. Ready and go. Pushing the hips up in the air controlling the movement. You can almost think of like squeezing your knees together so that your knees stay together and that movement is solely coming from the lower leg. Hips up to the ceiling. A straight line from your shoulder through to your hip bone, through to your knee. Feeling it in the hamstrings and the glutes. Getting that. Getting those legs nice and strong. You're doing really well. Keep going. Don't let those hips drop. They will try and drop on you. Just resist the temptation. You can do it. And relax for 15 seconds. Well done. Then we're going back into the lateral bounds. Now this is the second time we're doing this. So be a bit more confident with it. Make it as explosive as you can. You want these to be really powerful. Ready and go. Weight through the heels squeezing the glutes as you take off to jump powerfully high and laterally from side to side cushioning your landing bending at the knee a little but bending so that you're sitting back always sitting back always with the weight through the heels doing really well might get a little bit breathless on these they are an explosive plyometric movement doing really well bringing the leg that's not jumping behind you okay that will help you keep your balance if the other leg comes in front of you it'll be a little bit hard to get that weight distribution and relax you're doing really well guys we're almost there so proud of y'all <laughs> and then we're gonna go back to the assisted single leg squat pulses ready and go back in that miniature lunge position not overdoing it with the stretch in the back leg and when I do that, by the way, when I hold my abdomen, what I'm making sure is that my core is engaged. Because if you have an excessive, you know, flexion of the lumbar spine, then you're just going to cause a lot of stress on your lower back. So a way to avoid that is to really engage the core. Keep that pelvic tilt aligned. You're doing really well. Remember to keep the weight in the front leg, through the heels of the front leg, wiggling the toes of that leg pulsing and relax and we're going to come back down onto the other leg nearly there guys you're doing so well i'm so proud of you <laughs> let me know in the comments how many times you've done this workout and ones in the other series as well ready and go onto the other leg Every now and then, I'm just letting the back leg come up off the floor just a little bit, just to remind myself that this is what it would feel like to do a single leg squat, sitting all the way back, just supporting my weight a bit more evenly. 
keeping the chest nice and high pulsing nice and strong with it as though I'm always just going to stand up but then I let it go back down again about to stand up let it go back down again being really intentional with it and rest well done you have completed part five episode five video five whatever number five you want to call it <laughs> of the thick thigh series thank you so much for working out with me i'm so glad you guys seem to be loving this series leave me a comment letting me know how you found it and i will see you in my next video <laughs> love you bye